Joe Holden is live in media with more on the case and how the dog is helping police solve cyber crimes. Joe. Well, Jess and Yuki, good evening to you tonight. We know that the suspect in this case, according to his lawyer, surrendered his lawyer telling us that he is cooperating tonight with investigators. It was November 2nd at 6 in the morning when Montgomery County detectives came knocking at this Ardmore home. Court records show the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children received information from Yahoo about the possible download of child pornography allegedly tied to an IP address here. County detectives say 69-year-old Lawrence Breen, an attorney, was home at the time and provided investigators with a written and signed statement. The documents allege Mr. Breen admitted to receiving images of child pornography and saving the images to his computer hard drive or a thumb drive. Breen was charged Tuesday with 40 felony counts of child pornography. This affidavit says some of the investigation was due in part to Charlie, a member of the district attorney's office in Delaware County. Charlie was introduced to the public this past fall, a month and a half before the documented search at the Breen residence. She helps us find oftentimes what we miss. While not involved with the Breen case, Delaware County DA Kat Copeland says so far Charlie has been instrumental in a dozen and a half investigations. In this case, it's alleged the canine located two flash drives in a computer bag. Detectives will go through a room looking for electronic devices, looking for evidence related to children, child predators. And what Charlie does is that she is able to sniff out what we oftentimes can't find or what we oftentimes sometimes miss. And tonight, Breen is free on $25,000 unsecured bond. Again, his t attorney telling CBS3 over the phone that he continues to cooperate and that they expect a quick resolution to the case. Breen due back in court for a preliminary hearing on March 8th. Reporting live tonight, I'm Jill Holden, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right.